Morning eating disorders. Keep going if you don't want to hear about this right now. Um, one thing that I get asked about a lot is autism and eating disorders, the co-occurrence of those things. It's actually a very, very common co-occurrence to the point that clinicians are starting to be advised that if someone presents with an eating disorder, that they also be considered um, and evaluated for autistic traits. Um, so there's many reasons why this is. One of them is alexithymia, which is the, uh, the inability to put words to emotions, um, inability to kind of communicate about how we're feeling, and also difficulty with interoception, which is our ability to register when we're hungry, thirsty, need to go to the bathroom. So um, I found a really amazing post about it from Dr. Natalie Engelbrecht of EmbraceAutism.com. So there's more, tons more information there if you want to check it out, but I wanted to take a second to share the resource because I get asked about this all the time and I've been looking for a good resource to share and I found it. So I'll put the link here.